Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of my question and answer series. So let's answer some questions. Maxime wants to know which big events are planned for next year. In 2016 I will join Berget. It's a very big milsim in the north of Sweden with about 2000 participants and it lasts for 4 days. What's very interesting about this milsim is that it never really gets dark because it's in the north of Sweden so the sun never sets 100%. Therefore it's really 4 days non-stop playing. Jacob Wilmont wants to know, besides airsoft, what is your favorite sport? I like running and bodyweight training. Thomas Novotny wants to know, can you recommend glasses that don't fog? I think there are no glasses which don't fog. But what you can do and what I am doing is that I'm, I'm running glasses with a built-in electrical fan on top. There are several brands who offer this kind of glasses. There's ESS and Swiss Optics. They're the most popular ones. You can check out them. They're pretty expensive, but I think they're totally worth the money because if you don't have fog, you're just a much more effective player. Norbert Marek wants to know what's the maximum shoot distance of your Glock? Actually, my Tokyo Marui Glock, it's really accurate. I think it's possible to hit a target size target at 40 meters, which is about 130 feet. Dakota Zababa wants to know how much have you invested into your airs of career? So including my gear, the tickets for the event and the whole camera gear, I think it's at least 10,000 euros. But considering that I'm playing this game for seven, almost eight years now, I think it's not that much. Sam Peggy Van Howigan Dumery wants to know, how do you make it possible to play with a mask? I use one, but cannot find my crosshairs. So to make this clear, there is no mesh mask on the market, which will perfectly fit your face. What you have to do is, you have to bend it so it perfectly fits your face. What also helps a lot if you take a side cutter and you cut the top of the mask to the shape of your glasses. Popper Attila Horvath asked, Hi Norwich, how much FPS does your sniper have? My sniper has 540 FPS with 0.2 gram BBs. Louis Kupian asked, what is the level of magnification on your scope in game? On top of my sniper, I'm running a scope with a four times magnification, which is Pretty much perfect in airsoft for my opinion. If you're not sure if you spot an enemy, you can take a closer look. But it's still not too much, you don't lose the overall field overview. Because if you're running a 9 times optical zoom, you maybe see the enemy very clear, but you cannot see what's going on around this enemy. Chera Linhart wants to know, what guns do you have? I don't have a lot of guns, I have 3 Glock 18C. Two ones are gas blowback, one is electric, all of them are Tokyo Marui. I also have two Tokyo Marui vs 10 sniper rifle, one upgraded, one for spare parts. And I have one Chingong Org A1 which I modified to an A3. Charles Archer wants to know what inspired you to get into airsoft. When I was a kid my mother didn't allow me to own airsoft guns, so I wanted to have one even more and I bought one online with my mother's ID card. Lukas Nyhoff wants to know, what's your gear preference, ammo or lightweight? How many mags do you pack? The worst thing that can happen to you in an airsoft match is that you ran out of ammo. I prefer to have one magazine too much than running out of ammo. So when I'm playing in a woodland area, I'm carrying three sniper mags with 25 shots each and three pistol mags. And when I'm playing in an urban area, I'm carrying five pistol mags. Mike wants to know, why don't you speak German? So from a German speaking audience out there, 95% meiner Zuschauer sprechen nicht Deutsch. Von dem her würde es keinen Sinn machen, die Videos auf Deutsch zu betonen. So that's it for this week's video. I hope I could answer some of your questions. Leave me new ones in the comments below. This is Norwich. I see you guys next Thursday.